My name is Maggie Liu. I'm a researcher at the European Space Agency in Madrid, and I'm working on the Euclid mission, which is a space telescope due to launch in 2022 to measure the gravitational lensing, the distortion of galaxies um, due to gravitational influences from things like dark matter. I actually have no idea because I don't work on the simulations myself, okay. but I do work on the outcomes of the uh, simulations because okay. I just do analysis. So they give me simulations, I test my theoretical models and see if it produces um, realistic results. Oh, and actually we have like big conferences and we, we do like discuss some of these things. Like a lot of like the errors that come out of like the simulations we like um, discuss as analysts when we're analyzing the data, we're like, oh, well, that distribution doesn't look quite right. Is there something wrong with the simulations? So with the simulations, ideally, we want to produce the entire sky like, like Euclid does, but we only produce a third of what Euclid does. So it's a tiny fraction. And not only that, we don't have the resolution to go to like um, the fine detail of the real world that we can see for a telescope because our simulations are limited. We have a limited box, we have a limited number of particles that we can put in the box. And so the total data in our simulations, uh, the one that I talked about, the PISDANE um, simulations, is 0.4 petabytes of data. So it's much smaller than the real thing. Um, but actually we're trying to move to um, better supercomputers. At the moment we have like a proposal to do a simulation on the Japanese um, supercomputer and I think that's like the third fastest in the world and we want to produce an even larger volume. I absolutely love Jay on the Beach. I think it was so well organized but I really liked that there was like people coming in from all different expertise working on such cool things from like DNA to refugees. It's like really exciting topics and I really like that.